I really hope this doesn't go wrong. I gotta admit something. I've never been a big fan of action cameras, but the DJI Osmo Action 4 is one of the first action cameras that I really enjoy using and has a really high quality image. And I can easily see myself using this more often. Because of those reasons, you can get shots that are very hard to achieve with a larger camera like a mirrorless camera or a DSLR. Usually, I don't recommend third-party action camera accessories, but these action camera accessories from PGY Tech are really high quality, and I can highly recommend these. All of the action camera accessories in this video I'm using from PGY Tech. To get the best image quality out of your action camera, you need to use the right settings. Now, even though I'm using the Osmo Action 4, most of these tips will apply to other action cameras as well. The ultra-wide angle field of view has the best image quality, but I actually enjoy using the wide and the standard field of view because they don't have this kind of a fish eye look, which makes it look more natural and therefore more cinematic. Let's start filming with one of my favorite accessories for today's video. Of course, I'm talking about the suction cup mount and I can assure you, it ain't going off no matter how hard you pull. For this shot, I'm filming myself through the windshield as I'm driving the car. For the settings, I have 4K 25 frames per second and for the stabilization, I have horizon balancing on which means that even if the camera was slightly tilted, the final footage will be perfectly leveled. One thing that I've learned is you should always review your footage before moving on to the next shot. Okay, the footage looked surprisingly good, but this time I'm gonna get a similar shot, but I'm gonna have the camera pointing towards the direction where I'm driving to. I'm still using the suction cup to mount the Action 4 on the window, and the idea is to get a close-up shot of my hand on the steering wheel, but the problem is that I don't remember what is the minimum focusing distance of the Action 4. And actually, I realized that whenever you put on the Horizon Steady, the field of view will automatically be standard. Okay, I'm still using the suction cup, but this time I have it on the passenger side's door pointing to the rear end of the car. This just makes my life so much easier when I can monitor the Action 4 from my phone while driving my car. So good. Let's get one shot where the audience can actually see me, shall we? I really hope this doesn't go wrong. I'm very disappointed. The shot didn't work out because you can see the shadow of the camera. I'm gonna have to film it backlit and place the camera towards the sun. A few moments later. Safe and sound. 
Come on, come on, come on. Yes! <sighs> that shot looked epic. Right, one more shot of the driver. This was handy. Ah. Thank you. Let's get this shot before we get to the final destination. It's been such a long day. <laughs> For the lake view shot, I needed to get the Osmo action at least to a shoulder height, so I had to attach it to my main tripod. When the battery of my mic dies, that's a clear indication that I've been filming way too long. It's been probably like 10 hours? I don't know. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about how to film yourself, then I highly recommend watching this video over here. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.